Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. In this tutorial series, I will give you a basic idea you need to know about Bluetooth Low Energy and I will show you how you can make Arduino BLE chipset to send and receive data wirelessly from mobile phones and other Arduino boards. By the end of the series, I will show you how you can control this robotic arm using just a control glove using this Arduino board and Bluetooth. So hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Today, I am here with this new version of Arduino Nano. Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, Nano with BLE connectivity focusing on IoT, which is packed with a wide variety of sensors such as Nano Axis Inertial Measurement Unit, Pressure, Light and even just a sensors and a microphone. It is powered by Nina B306 module that supports BLE as well as Bluetooth 5 connections. The inbuilt Bluetooth module consumes very low power and can be easily accessed using Arduino libraries. This makes it easier to program and enable wireless connectivity to any of your projects in no time. You won't have to use external Bluetooth modules to add Bluetooth capability to your project. Save space and power. Now let us talk about BLE. BLE is a version of Bluetooth which is optimized for very low power consuming projects with very low data rate. We can even operate these devices using coin cells for weeks or even months. Arduino have a wonderful introduction to BLE, but here in this post, I will give you a brief introduction for you to get started with BLE communication. Basically, there are two types of devices when we consider a BLE communication block, the peripheral device and the central device. Peripheral device is like a notice board, from where you can read data from various notices or pin new notices to the board. It posts data for all devices that needs this information. Central devices are like people who are reading notices from the notice board. Multiple users can read and get data from the notice board at the same time. Similarly, multiple central devices can read data from the peripheral device at the same time. The information that is given by the peripheral device are structured as services. And these services are further divided into characteristics. You can think of services as different notices in the notice board and characteristics as different paragraphs in each notice. If accelerometer is a service, then the values x, y and z can be three characteristics. Now take a look at this simple example. Battery level indicator. In this example, I will explain how you can read the level of a battery connected to pin A0 of an Arduino using a smartphone via BLE. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. Okay, this is the code here. This is pretty much same as that of the example code for battery monitor with minor changes. I will explain it for you. But before that, you will have to install Arduino BLE library from the library manager. Just go to sketch, include library, manage library and search for Arduino BLE and click on install. The first line of the code is to include Arduino BLE.h file. Then we will declare the battery service as well as battery level characteristics here. Here we will be giving two permissions BLE read and BLE notify. BLE read will allow central devices like mobile phones to read data from peripheral devices like Arduino. And BLE notify allows remote clients to get notification if this characteristic changes. Now we will jump on to setup function. Here it will initialize the serial communication and BLE and wait for serial monitor to open. Here we will set a local name for BLE device. This name will appear in advertising packets and can be used by remote devices to identify this BLE device. Here we will add and set values for service UUID and characteristics. And here we will start advertising BLE. It will start continuously transmitting BLE advertising packets and will be visible to remote BLE central devices until it receives a new connection. Now the loop function. Once everything is set up and the device has started advertising, the device will wait for any central device. Once it is connected, it will display the MAC address of the device and it will turn on the built-in LED. Now it will start to read voltage from pin A0 which will be a value between 0 and 1023 and will map it within 0 to 100 range. It will print out the battery level in the serial monitor and the value will be written for battery level care characteristics and waits for 200 milliseconds. After that, the whole loop will be executed again and again as long as the central device is connected to the peripheral device. Once it is disconnected, the message will be shown on the serial monitor and the LED will be turned off. Now select the right port and board and upload the code. 
once it is uploaded start the serial monitor in your smartphone install the app nrf connect open it and start the scanner you will see the device battery monitor in the device list now tap on connect and a new tab will be opened go to that tab and you will see services and characteristics of that device tap on battery service and you will see battery levels being read from the arduino it was one right in the next post i will show you how you can send inbuilt sensor values such as accelerometer gyroscope color sensor and gesso sensor from the arduino to your phone as well as another arduino via bluetooth